Now, EDX bills itself as a safer, faster, more efficient way of trading digital currencies. Explain to our audience how you are different than a crypto native exchange. Well, I think one of the key differences is we're not going to have direct retail accounts. We're going to be the venue for uh, investors who want to trade through their trusted intermediaries like uh, like Fidelity Schwab or any other retail broker dealer. Well, and you also have an impressive bench of executives that come from the traditional finance world. Do you need more crypto leadership? Do you have anyone who has been operating in the crypto space exclusively um, for, for years? Uh, we do. We do. We have a mix of people from traditional finance as well as those that are crypto native and have a ton of digital experience. Any names? So uh, we announced yesterday um, that uh, that our general counsel is uh, David Foreman, who is formerly uh, head of uh, legal for Fidelity Digital Assets. We've got uh, Tony Roder, who was at Arisax, another digital exchange, and then we have a couple of hires that are finishing off their uh, their current uh, employment. Uh, both of them have uh, extensive digital experience, and we'll announce those names as soon as they, uh, they finish their last days. Okay, and Jamil, um, you guys are an exchange, but you need someone to actually hold the coins. You guys are leveraging a network of select digital custodians. Um, what That's does that right. mean, and which ones are you using, and how did you decide on them? Yeah, so, uh, again, we're, we're, uh, we're going to announce one of our custodians is Fidelity Digital Asset, and uh, we have a second custodian that we're going to announce shortly. Um, the one of the key differences between our exchange and many of the other exchanges out there, in addition to not having direct accounts, is that we're not going to be vertically integrated. And so we're not going to have the same conflicts of interest and other uh, issues that some of the digital exchanges have. We're going to have separate custody and uh, an exchange uh, matching. So How do you judge? What we're, Sorry, Sorry yeah, especially with what we've seen just over the last few months, you've seen some digital wallets go bust. People can't take out their actual Bitcoin or Ether, whichever coin it is. So how do you decide which ones are trustworthy and safe, especially if you're leveraging a network of them? It's, look, we go through a really extensive process and we're finding someone uh, that we feel really good about. And I think that I think you point out that, um, you know, there are uh, there are some issues with the market structure in uh, in the current digital asset environment. And what we're planning to bring is many of the investor protections, um, many of the most efficient processes from traditional finance uh, into the digital world so that we can reduce costs and give investors uh, much uh, more efficient uh, execution, which will allow them to keep more of their dollars. Jamil, thanks for being with us and breaking that down for us. Jamil Nazarali of EDX, thank you.